it's burlesque day. Let's go, baby! Okay, so in case you didn't know, I'm going to see a burlesque show today and you're gonna be joining me. But first of all, we gotta get ready because, you know, we can't be dressed like this for a burlesque show. We gotta dress like we're a part of the entertainment, okay? We gotta dress like we are mwah, mwah, just, you know. You know, we gotta dress to impress when you're going to burlesque. So, that's what we're gonna be doing. I gotta pick out some clothes from my closet. I have a couple options in mind, and then I'm gonna show them to you guys before we pick together. And by picking together, I mean I'm gonna be picking, and hopefully you're not gonna be disgusted with my choice. But, anyways, let me find some options for you guys, and then we'll see if we can look. Sick. I got the options ready and the options are as follows right now. We have two Shirts in the running. We have this one, which is really nice. It kind of has like a corset looking look It's more sheer and then there's this one which is You can tell it has some lacing blah blah blah. It's really pretty it flows really nice and it hangs quite down We have this skirt hold on tripod in the way this skirt. We have this skirt and I almost, like, I'm really gravitating towards this with this, but I don't know if that's loud enough. You know? I don't know if it screams enough. So I might have to look at my dresses, see if there's anything there I could layer before making a decision here. Here's a thought. I could layer this over this dress, maybe. I might want to check that out. Hold on. I'm going to do a little try-on portion. I don't pay attention to the mess in the back. But I'm liking this. I'm just loving it. I don't like how the silhouette is on the bottom, I think. And it's really see-through. So I'm going to look if I can find something to lay around top. My dog is going crazy. Okay, I scrapped the entire dress idea. This is what we're going with so far. It looks cute. I have a little jacket I think I'm going to throw over it. But now it's time to like really accessorize. And the first step is finding out if I want to wear thighs or fishnets. Okay, I think I got the outfit in order. I'm wearing literally my swimsuit, but then I got these shorts on. Garter from Hot Topic or something. This one's from Hot Topic as well. And I have some fishnet stockings. I have these pride socks. <laughs> then I have a thigh high. I have two chokers on and then one necklace. My goodness, I just got a hair strand on you. Whoa, whoa, go away. I did big eyeliner today. <laughs> and honestly, I think it does the job. It does the job. That That's all that we needed. It does the job. And I think I look good, so you know what? We will accept it. We will take it as good. I think we're going to leave my hair like this. I don't feel like changing anything about it. So yeah, that's the finished outfit. Now, the next clip is probably going to be me walking in or something. Something about the actual show.
That was amazing. I loved it. It was so good. Oh my God. I wish I could have shown you guys more. I wish I could have shown you everything because it was so great. Okay. It was, I kid you not, the energy, the people there. I, like, I can't even put it into words. It was so refreshing just to see more people like me. And because it's Pride Month, they made all of the, all of the performers were queer. And oh my god. I never meet people like me. And I never meet anyone else who identifies the way that I do. And just seeing people and seeing so many people who were like fine with what they were and showing their body and, you know representing everything about themselves, their identity and their body and everything. It was just, oh, I needed that. I needed it so bad. I hate to get sentimental, but it's like, it feels so lonely being, being, I, I, I can't even see being born in the wrong body because I wasn't in the wrong body, it's just, it's so refreshing to see more people who feel the way that I do, and more people who understand the struggles that I go through, and how it feels when people say certain things to you and they just get it. It's, it's like I've known they're there, I've heard of people, but I've never seen anyone, I've, I've never met anyone who's like me. I've never seen them face to face. I've never even seen them across a room. And it was so fucking refreshing to see other people. And oh, they were all so stunning. All the performers, they were just beautiful. It's like, the best way to say it is that it was beautiful. Like, yes, they were showing their body, but it wasn't... Like, it wasn't dirty. It wasn't crude. It wasn't anything like that. It was just beautiful seeing the love that they had for themselves and seeing the admittance of what they are and their pride and it was just so stunning to see and i just wish i could have shown you all it all of it i can't show you everything because uh, i i simply think that it's wrong for me even if they are on a stage i think that it's wrong for me to show their entire body off to an audience that they have not themselves chosen to be in front of but I'll show you some of it and I do hope you like what you see and I really really advise you that if you're above 18 um this show was 20 plus if if you are of age please do <laughs> to take the time to go see one of these shows because it's so amazing in the community and the vibes, everyone was cheering and clapping for people who in society might often be met with criticism. And it's so sad to say, but it's true. Like, some bodies are viewed upon us uh, from the public as bad. But in this space, everyone just loved it. Everyone just loved every part of it. Everyone loved the love that you had for yourself. And I think that was so beautiful to see. So <laughs> that's going to be the ending part of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Editor Ari here watching this back. I can't believe how much I'm going to get copyrighted for this. Oh my god. <laughs>